Welcome back to the channel guys, Pat at Card Scale Dreams. First off, I just want to thank everyone for the uh, views, likes, thumbs ups, um, subscribers, non-subscribers, appreciate you all. And uh, thank you for the support, really appreciate it. Uh, so today I'm going to be unboxing the 41 Willys Pickup by Monogram. This is the 125 scale, uh, saying it's a skill level three it's the car show by monogram uh, so just having a look on the side kit eight five four zero five eight so it seems to have some pretty cool details to it opening doors of course um, looks like it has some flame decals there this is another one on the side. Um, shoot, I'm gonna grab my glasses. Just grabbing my glasses real quick. Uh, so here's your paint guide 93 parts, 6 and 1 8 inches long, <clears throat> molded in white, water slide decals. Uh, so it says uh, it has been. Mo said there are more 41 willies on the road today than when originally built the 41 willies had the right proportions and size to make the perfect gasser class drag racer this was true for not only the coupe but also the pickup originally developed as a utility vehicle for the u.s navy the willies became an ultra popular in the 1960s and consistently dominate the gas the gasser class uh detailed Blown big block motor, gas or drive drivetrain, opening doors of twin bucket seats, custom decals, and of course molded in white. So I'm, <clears throat> I did look on Scalemates about this kit. This is um, what is it, 2013? I know, um, Ravel released some earlier stuff with the 41 Willys. I don't know if this is the same kit. I suspect it is. It has the door opening doors as well, um, but I don't know. I don't know how how Monogram got about to um, picking that up because I know that was like eighty five. There was a couple of different versions that Ravel put out. Uh, I think I seen one Grease Lightning. Grease Lightning one. There was never. A, I'm sure that was just a marketing to get people to buy the kit but uh then there was the hot rod the hot rod Ravel. uh that was a pretty cool one as well but anyways i don't know if those are directly related to this kit so i'm not i'm not going to put them up just in case they aren't and i don't have those kits so i i don't know for a hundred percent but i'll get this opened up i've already taken the plastic off i've had it for quite a while <clears throat> I've peeked in it, uh, excuse me, peeked in it quite a few times. I was going to build it a while back and then I ended up not. Um, but let's have a look. Okay, so let's take a look at the body first. Um, so you can see this mole line right here. Very prominent. The mole light down here, both sides. Um, looks pretty good. Otherwise, there is a fair bit of cleanup here. Obviously, this is this will be removed. Some mole lines on the front, which you'll have to take care of. Um, these drip rails look can see how they're um, they're not very straight but uh, a little bit of cleanup will will be needed there so I just realized I was pausing it in between 
I was showing myself, recording myself opening the packages, and then I was pausing it when I was uh, talking about the parts. <laughs> so I'll try that again. <clears throat> I had to delete part of the video. <clears throat> okay, so this is what I meant to show. I deleted out me opening the packages. I didn't think you guys would want to see that. So anyways, here's the doors, door cards, uh, dash, um, hinges I'm imagining, <clears throat> excuse me, um, rod, roll bar, insert for the engine. So all this stuff looks pretty, pretty, pretty decent. Uh, there is a little bit of cleanup. There's, yeah, you can see you got to pretty much clean up every, almost every edge on these doors and the door cards probably on the, yeah. So there's a fair amount of cleanup on this kit. So here's your hood, uh, tunnel cover, the uh, box, floor pan, and your, your rear wheel arches. Um, and like I said, there's a, there's a bit of cleanup on all of these parts. Not a ton, but enough that you're going to have to go through and literally re-edge all of these parts. So that's a little, little bit, something to note. Uh, same thing with this. There's a lot of cleanup. Engine halves, front timing and all that. Timing cover, parachute. Your wheel backs. So pretty simplified uh, engine. I believe this is a Ford. Um, so really nice seats though. But I don't mind those. Um, all your front suspension stuff. Your rear suspension. Um, quick change rear end. All your leaf springs. Um, shocks, your, I don't know if these are wheelie bars or, um, they frame connectors. I'm not sure for the rear end. I imagine they're probably the frame connectors, but this frame is interesting too, because this is, this is all rounded right from here to here and across. This is square, this is square, this is square. So that's kind of interesting why that would be round the way it is. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, it's kind of interesting. Not sure why they would have this all rounded. Okay, so there's that. Like I said, not much to this kit. 93 parts. Uh, so your front axle, uh, tie rod, and steering, your velocity stacks, so, so these, uh, these, I guess, center lines, I guess you would call them, but all the locating pins are right on the very lip of the tire, or the wheel, so that kind of sucks, I hate it when they do that, um, so your shifter, um, part of your supercharger, front and rear, your molded in headlights and bezels, uh, your manifold, supercharger, fan, belt assembly, I think that's the, uh, that goes on the hood, the chrome, chrome piece on the hood, not sure what these are, rear taillights, so the door, has uh, door handles or whatever you call them, the old style. Uh, some bumpers, headers, and then here you have your, I'm imagining this is a sock Ford valve covers. Steering wheel, pretty nice. And your foot pedal, fuel, fuel pedal, throttle pedal. <laughs> so yeah, that's 
it's not a bad kit. Like, I mean, it's monogram, so the detail isn't super great. Uh, but I really like this uh, decal kit, uh, or decal sheet. So you get two sets of decals in, included, white or black. Some sponsor stuff. Um, Seatbelt. These are just for one. You have two seats, but only one set of seatbelts. Some flames. So you can build the Go Ape Gasser. These are really cool decals. I might I might go box stock with or box art with this. I'm not sure. The tires have the M and H, so you can put those on. Uh, some other gauge decals down here. So yeah, not a bit, not a bad sheet at all. Then we have our tires. So these old tires remind me of the ones that used to come in some of the monogram kits, like the Chevelle, 70 Chevelle. Yeah, this would pull out for whatever reason. That's the way they molded them. But this one's all one piece. But you can see where this used to be molded separate. And it's the same tire except for it doesn't have any of the Goodyear on it. Um... I always like these tires. They're they're pretty meaty, and they're they are uh, rubber, but they are very stiff. And I I do have a, a few of these old ones in, in the parts box, and I've always liked these. I used these on my '67 Chevelle uh, Pro Street. <clears throat> yeah, they're pretty nice. You can even see the a little bit of the uh, texture on the tire. So that's kind of neat. They are a bit shiny. So. But they are a decent tire. And then the fronts are rubber as well. But they're not as. Obviously these are tiny compared to these. So that look pretty cool. And they say Pirelli on them. Not sure if you can see that. Yeah, so that's interesting. Okay, so that's that. Um, the directions. Uh, we've already went over this. So your, your parts guide, color guide, parts guide, some instruction, decal application instructions, or your parts. really simple clear to read instructions so it goes all the way to part three to build your engine <laughs> <coughs> and there's a lot of pictures the book is fairly thick oh here we have some glass uh yeah, clear acetate. I probably won't use that. I'll probably use my uh, 3D glasses lens for uh, tinted glass. I like using that stuff. <clears throat> See how the directions are really pretty good. Little little overboard if you if you ask me. So here's your uh, your window templates. So yeah, pretty decent kit. I was gonna build this back a few months ago, uh, but I never did. I don't know why. I did I? Had too many things going on and. USAC came up and then I decided to go with this one, the uh, 55 instead, and join in that group build. So here's this, the other option with the flamed decals, black. That looks kind of cool too. That might look neat.
Yeah, and then here's the other Go Ape gasser. So yeah, that's that. That's your 41 Willys pickup by Monogram. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. And I hope everyone is having a great week. Hump day today. And uh, yeah, pat out, model on. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you very much.